Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive. If I were a betting man, I'd say the odds are pretty good that you've used or are currently using one of these services to store files in the cloud and collaborate with your team. I mean, as a creator myself, I'm constantly sharing files back and forth with my team, including very sensitive business documents, contracts, and even client data that I need to keep private. The problem with this current setup is that one, I just don't like using Dropbox. And two, I prefer the privacy assurance of end-to-end -end encryption that isn't available with Google Drive or OneDrive, believe it or not. I've already shared with you the different client-side encryption solutions in a previous video, but I've been on the hunt for an integrated solution that makes sharing and collaborating with these files both easy and very secure. So here's what I found. Hey guys, it's Josh here with All Things Secured, a channel where I share with you different techniques and software solutions to improve your security and privacy online. This week, I wanna give you a peek behind the curtain of a migration that I'm making away from Google Drive, which is what my team is currently using, and on to sync.com. Now, there are a number of reasons that I'm really attracted to Sync as an alternative for our team, including true zero-knowledge encryption that gives me a little peace of mind as I upload files to the cloud, unlimited file versioning that keeps a copy of any and all changes made to the files stored with Sync, uh, unlimited storage plans for Teams, and a special device vault that I can use as a personal cloud backup. I'll get into that in a moment. But if you really wanna know why I'm starting to make this switch, Check out this side-by-side -side comparison. Let's say I wanna share a file with a contractor that has sensitive client data on it. On the left, you see the three options that Google Drive gives me for sharing. I can either restrict it to a person's email address, share it only within my company, or make it entirely public. That's it. By contrast with Sync, which you see on the right, I have the ability to create a link to the shared file that has a password, an expiration date, permissions, a download limit, and even the option for enhanced privacy, which basically adds an additional layer of end-to-end -end encryption to the shared link. Now, on top of that, I have the ability to create shared folders for specific teams or groups of people. It's just a better way to share and collaborate, not only with those people on my team, but especially with those who aren't. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's step back for a moment and let me show you what it's looked like for me to migrate my files away from one cloud platform and into sync. And spoiler alert, Google does not make it easy to export all of these files. So I've already created my sync.com account. I'm gonna go in here and I need to install the app for my Mac. And that's what I'm gonna start off doing right now just so that there can be a sync between my folder without necessarily having to log in on my browser. Now I do have 2FA enabled on my account. Uh, it is not the 2FA key, but it's the next best thing, which is using the 2FA Authenticator app, which can be done through a number of different apps, not just Google Authenticator. You've got Authy, you've got Ubico, so many other options out there. And that's what I've done here in order to make sure that I've got uh, my account secured as strong as it can be. So if you look here in Finder on my Mac, you'll see that Sync is a folder that, that stays consistently updated as long as my computer is connected to the internet. Now, when it comes to migrating all of my files, I really wish it was as easy as just dragging and dropping files from Google Drive into that Sync folder. Unfortunately, that's not the case because a lot of what I have created within my Drive is the Google Docs and the Google Sheets and all those things that don't export very easily. So what I have to do is I actually have to go into something called Google Takeout. So if you go to takeout.google.com, now I'm going to take, and I actually don't want to um, import or export everything, but I need to scroll down here into drive. And then I want to include only the stuff that I want to have exported. So let's just say everything for all things secured. And then I'm going to go down here. I could do everything, including Gmail, but for now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to export once and I'm going to make it a zip folder and exports larger than two gigabytes. I could change that. I don't think I have two gigabytes worth. We'll find out. But then I'm going to create an export. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn all of those Google Doc files into Docx files or something that can be opened by Microsoft Word or something else other than just Google Drive folders because... Yeah, we're not going to be using that right now. Uh, same thing for every other file um, and makes it into something that can easily be imported into Sync. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for that export to finish, and then I'm going to import it into Sync. 
Okay, the export has been completed and I need to download the data. It's gonna be in two different files. And once that downloads, I'm going to import it directly into my sync folder. So I was able to get it. It's gonna be in takeout and takeout one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these and then bring them over into sync. And same thing with the takeout two. There we go. And you'll notice right here, it changed it into docx uh, and xlsx files. So basically files that can be opened by most um, office type software, whether that's Libre or whether you use um, obviously Microsoft Office or even Google Docs will reopen these files. Now it's gonna take time for Sync to upload all of these files uh, to the cloud in an encrypted vault. So that way it can be downloaded and used on any of my, uh, any of my devices. By the way, in regard to my problems moving away from Google, Sync was very helpful in providing ideas on how to best do that. They offer toll-free phone support for Teams, which is really interesting, but the response I got with email was more than fast enough for me. At this point, based on my experience thus far, the ability to control how I share files internally and externally is amazing and I don't have to fiddle around with these different client-side encryption solutions, which basically means me having to encrypt my own files before I upload them to Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever. It's just, it's just easier with sync. From a security standpoint, I like the fact that I can disable password reset on my account, which does present a little bit of a risk, but it also ensures that sync will never get access, even temporary access to my encryption keys. I have the ability to secure my account with two-factor authentication apps, which you know I like, but unfortunately at this point they don't accept FIDO key standard yet. Data is stored on servers located in Canada, but since Sync doesn't have access to your encryption keys like other cloud providers do, the data we stored there isn't viewable even if it was somehow stolen or swiped in transit or whatever. But remember when I mentioned earlier about a personal vault for each device? Check this out. Now, right now I'm using the Sync app on my iPhone. And if you see here on the bottom, we've got files, which is all the files that have now been synced across my devices for uh, my Sync folder. And then of course there's the vault. Now this vault means this is only for my iPhone, this specific device that I use it for. And I can put a backup of my iPhone. I can put a backup of my photos. I can add specific uh, files or images that I want to into my vault and it will stay synced in the cloud for this specific device, but it's not gonna be synced up to all of my different devices. So it's almost like having a personal vault as well as having a synced vault with all of the other devices as well. By the way, if this is something you wanted to try, uh, Sync has been very kind to offer a 10% discount for those of you who are watching this. If you go to sync.com slash ATS, that stands for all things secured, sync.com slash ATS, you'll see that they give you a very generous five gigabytes of space free if you sign up and you can test them out and see what you think. It's been a goal of mine to reduce my reliance on one company like Google for all things related to my business. And this is one step that I've been taking to help make that a reality. So this is what I'm using right now. I'm open to any thoughts and questions in the comment section. If you're still watching this far into the video, I appreciate you and hope that if you aren't already a subscriber to All Things Secured, you'll take that simple step of just clicking the subscribe button right now, right there.